<laughs> wow, there it is. Oh my goodness. Hold on. As we are bearing witness to a thermonuclear event is about to take place here at our feature table. As Adamo has picked up a spade draw up against Queens and Tens, and Brewer has followed through for just 10,000. Yeah, so Adamo's basically always continuing here, but now against so small a bet, his decision to see a turn card. Um, Obviously, it would be a disaster to inflate the pot further and face an additional raise from Adamo, who does not improve on this eight of diamonds. Uh, a two-thirds pot, river shove, whether Adamo makes it or if he decides to continue his bluff. Um, I really can't see Brewer giving up at this point with two queens. It's just much too strong a hand. And uh, so now we're going to see a river. And that river is an ace. Adamo has no showdown value whatsoever at this point. Now faces another check from Brewer. And oftentimes when you have no showdown value, you do tend to skew toward ambitions. Aces and tens. Oh, and he is piling it in there. And this is a huge overbet. Well, no, 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 because Brewer only has 111. Oh, 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 forgive me. Effective, the 111. So it's, it's you know, it's about two-thirds pot. Adamo doing everything he can to remain stoic and give away nothing in this situation. And I'm a little bit surprised that Brewer's not looking over at him a little bit. I do feel two here, two queens, and he, Brewer does not have a spade, uh, which at this point is good not to have a spade. So, you know, he ends up passing, which we can see was bad. Um, it's a tough spot. Uh, we'll lose at least this 3,000, if not another bet on the river. Very dry four of hearts on the end. And will Adamo go for value into this pot of 15,000 as he is pursuing additional Brewer bucks here? But With Brewer checking back the flop, Adamo does have to think his hand is good reasonably often. So th this, oh, and he goes with a very small size. 22? Yeah. 22? And now Adamo's in a very uncomfortable position here with a hand that at this point is, even though it's top pair, is essentially bluff catching. But given Brewer's check back on the flop, what he expects to find quite often would either be queen 10 or, or a hand like aces up. But he decides Brewer's not bluffing and gives it up yeah, correctly. And oh my goodness. Oh boy. <laughs> That is that is quite the board for Jason Kuhn here. And yet the tone of your voice remains so calm, Rast, as we are bearing witness to a thermonuclear event is about to take place here at our feature table. Top two pair against bottom set. Bottom set's the hand that likes raising the most, really, but he goes with call, which on this board, I think there's a pretty big range advantage for the three better, so, so maybe Kuhn's deciding not to raise anything. It's really what's going to happen at this point. Don't forget about a set of threes, Rasty. Well, I, no. <laughs> I mean, Kuhn never has pocket threes. Actually, I guess Adamo could, but Adamo maybe could have threes. But if he does, it would be. And this is exactly the sort of escalation that Kuhn would expect to see out of some of the big aces, maybe some of oh. the combo draws. And this is a magical river for these two fives as there is yeah. well, this no reason to panic. Yeah, this river is just, you know, all in snap call. Yeah. All in. All in. Take a moment before saying all in, and Kuhn always knew what he was going to do. The snap call is never a good sign for the ace queen. Everyone want, just wants to see a turn. Oh, my goodness. And the turn that Adamo had in mind is absolutely a third seven. I think he's likely to bet. Sure. Oh, he goes with check. Interesting. So a little bit less relevant for that, but very reasonable bluff here. And Liao himself, uh, to that size, I I, I think he's yeah he's going to get caught in this crossfire. Yeah. And Adamo, loving it. Especially if, with Liao caught in the middle, it doesn't seem to be a big argument for flatting at this point. Yeah, I mean, if he calls, I I do think. Uh, his play will be on many blank river cards actually check raising. When you call the turn here, it does mean that on so. Ooh. This is one of those spots in retrospect where had Liao simply three bet the open from Heath, which granted is a little less comfortable given oh, that Heath yeah, was at a stack size. depth where he could come back. 
at him. You know, Adamo's hoping that his opponent has three sevens with a worse kicker, which probably calls this quite often. To to this big of a size, uh, you know, you're you're not supposed to call all your bluff catchers. <laughs> you're not supposed to call very many of them actually. So you know, he, he goes with the fold, which it would have been a hero call. I ordered a Taylor Jason. Oh, you did? Yeah, build this edition. K14. I don't know if you know. K14 has binds on the on the fretboard. Oh, I have seen. I reckon that. might as well. <laughs> the you guys be sick of so you're not you? afraid to. I mean, as a kid, you to play pass flop. Guitars and audio <laughs> nice stuff. Too, you know? Be able to and William Flops, you know like double gut shot. Professional rock band. I mean, oh. it wasn't professional. We never got paid, but we were really he's, together. He's we just really super confident good. in his ability Thomas to to put sure pressure on Paul's flop yeah, with a spec stack, yeah. especially the and the beast. Um, yeah, because they saw you your shit off. Yeah. That was so out. funny. That yeah, was this so is funny. exactly what he does. Their reaction yeah. was so funny. Like, Whoa. Yeah. Hey, Bex, what Whoa! The they were like, "Bro, can we look at that?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, it came shit. up and inspected me. <laughs> yeah. like, lifted up my arm. <laughs> oh, so this is what poking ideal, me? Wow, yeah. nice. The ideal human body shape done. Like, no? I see. <laughs> Never seen it in real life before. You know, only in pictures. Really nice hand <laughs> yeah, from William so there. Funny. Nice jam <laughs> here. Like, bros, you know I'm naked, right? <laughs> Flops like this, you can certainly lead as as the defender in the big blind. Especially approaching the bubble, where you see where you see the shorter stacks playing a little more carefully, which is tricky to play. But Adamo is confident enough to implement that. Has the overs and the gutter, which would make him the super nuts, the the seven, the very long straight. So does does check. But I'm curious to see if William is gonna decide wow. to bluff with his hand. I mean, he doesn't have sh any showdown value now, basically. So, I like the decision to. It's interesting because if he does, bet. if he had checked back, maybe in something on the river, Adamo could just like rip it in, right? Right. Exactly. If he has uh, one of the tougher players and opponents who can put you in tough spots. So nice heart from him to. Yeah, it's to a go super, through. super cool play. Yeah, we're seeing the same thing here, the other way around for some of the American players that are coming coming here to Cyprus. And another ace king for William. <laughs> you know what's interesting about Adamo? I just any tournament I've followed or seen updates, it just seems like he's never short, <laughs> right? He's not. He's not like min cashing. He's not coming in short. It's like he is in there, and when he comes to a tournament at the end, he is relatively. I don't like using. Hyperbole is always and never, you know, big, big exaggerations, but it seems like he's just rarely short. He's just kind of deep. If he's in a tournament down the final stretch, he's got a lot of chips. Oh, nothing very often. And based on William Jackton off, similar situation, he is going to gonna three bet here. And interesting, for a three bets and doesn't jam. It almost it just looks stronger. He goes with the 4X sizing, but um, you know, Adamo, you can tell Adamo's on to William in the sense that he's on to him that he is not playing just the nuts right this is they say generally you would not want to be dealing with this spot and just kind of be like all right it's probably got something much better than me but um either so he's his radar is up but still just a good play from william and he just gives it up it's one of those things when you're so aggressive and you get big hands you get action right that's that's the that's the fun part about being an aggressive player because here i mean it's almost no way away if you're jason dealer versus spit big blind he is going to raise it and if you're jason And Jason's, of course, not going any anywhere. Um, it's a jack. The ace jack. He's in a bad spot. Although we have seen some, some from behind. Ace paint collisions. Oh, and there's the jack. That. The J, J for Jason right there on the flop starts out well, but two more cards to come and that'll do it lock it up on the thing Jason giving another compliment to Adamo it's nice when you're a GG ambassador you get to say GG 